Okay, my students, I am going to start first semester examination 2023, right? Answer the following questions in short questions. I will discuss today short questions. 20 short questions will come in the exam usually. So, this type math come most of the time come in the exam. So, how to solve this math? My student, at first you, you will work in the bracket. In the bracket, first bracket you will first work. Okay, so you will write uh, 31 minus subtraction and 3 plus 3 is 6. Suppose 3 plus 2, 3 plus 5, this type math, this type number will be given plus 25. Okay, 25. At first, you subtract this 6, 5 or 6, you will subtract from the previous number, from the previous number. So, 31, 31. Uh, minus yeah, minus six, so, so it will be, so it will be twenty five, right? Minus, it will be thirty one minus six, thirty one minus six will be twenty five, okay? And x uh, another add twenty five, so it will be fifty. So our answer is fifty, okay, my students. Our answer is fifty, okay? So now. Another question, the, uh, the price of 15 tables is 45,000 taka. What is the price of one table? One table. So, my dear students, you will solve this math for at first is 45,000, uh, right? 45,000 uh, divided by 15. There will be 15. So, 15, how many times will go? 3 times. 15, 3 ja. Uh, 45 right 3 and uh, so how many no, uh, numbers 3 triple uh, zeros ok so you will put uh, triple zeros ok so answer is this one so you will solve this is 45,000 divided by 15 it will be 3 45 divided by 15 will be 3 and triple zeros put here so my students answer here another the price of 4 pence is 44 taka what is the price of 6 pence so my students will solve 44 44 divided by 4 it will be 4 4 ja, 11 11 it will be 11 right 4 1 ja 4 4 1 ja 4 ok because this is a divided this is a divided so how many pence here 6 pence of course you will multiply 6 with 11 so, 6 1 are 6, 6 1 are 6. So, it will be 66, 66. Okay. So, our answer is 66. Okay, my students, what is the papaya is? Uh, now, the weight of a papaya is 5,500 grams. Okay. How many kg? You see kg. And weight of 3 such papayas. So, my, my dear students, one papaya is 500 gram ok so one papaya a means one papaya so how many here three so multi uh, 5000 uh, 500 multiply how many papayas here three papayas multiply three so it will be 15 hundreds ok so how many our requirement kg so divided by 1000 divided by 1000 because when you divided by this gram this is our result gram divided by 1000 it will be kg so how many kg will cut here so you it will be 1.5 kg right okay my student you see this is our gram gram multiply 3 papaya multiply as 15 hundred grams and if we multiply these grams by 1000, it will be 1.5. We'll see rough here 15, 15, uh, uh, 1500 by uh, 1000, right? So this one cut, cut table. So 15 divided by 10, 15 divided by it will be 5. This is our kg. Okay, my dear student, this is done. Okay. Another math I am going to solve. Uh, okay.
Okay. So given our given our given our the price of nine x is seventy two taka. What is the price of six x? Okay, my dear students. At first is seventy two. You write seventy two divided by nine. So it will be eight, right? One uh, egg price is eight taka. Okay. So how many eggs here? Six eggs here. So multiply six. So how many? How much? For eight taka. This is done. Answer. This is our answer. For eight taka, you write for eight taka. So at first you you have seen nine x is by seventy two taka. Seventy two divided by nine, it will be eight. Price of one egg. So how many eggs here? Six eggs. Of course you will multiply with six. So for eight taka done. A person a person can save twenty four uh, uh, twenty four thousand taka in a year. Year means twelve month. My dear students, year means twelve months. Okay. So how many save in three months? At first read the question properly. Then after you, you try to give the answer. Okay, my dear students. Okay, so twelve months save twenty four thousand taka. So twelve twenty four thousand divided twelve because where got twelve? Twelve means one year. Twelve means one year. So it will be two uh, thousand taka, right? Two thousand taka save in one month. Okay, so how many month here? Three month here. So multiply with three. So it will be three two the six. Uh, six and how much? Three month. Okay. Yes, six thousand taka. Six thousand taka. Our answer. Okay. Our answer six thousand taka. And another the uh, the price of one dozen lemon. One dozen means twelve lemon. Twelve lemon. Twelve lemon is sixty taka. Right. Sixty twelve lemons equal to sixty taka. So to one dozen means twelve lemon, and two halis means eight lemons. Eight lemons. Okay, my dear students. So twelve lemons here uh, um, sixty taka. Okay. So you would uh, therefore sixty divided twelve. It will be price of one lemon. So one lemon five taka. Five and how many two, two hali? Two hali means eight lemons. Two hali means eight lemons. So forty taka. So this is our answer. Okay, my dear students. At first, you read the carefully. What type? What type questions come in the exam? So the price of one dozen. One dozen means you think two hali lemons. So five is sixty taka. So uh, so uh, five is sixty taka. So One lemon, how much? So sixty divided twelve lemons. It will be one price of one lemon. And how many? Two halli. Two halli means eight lemons. So multiply five with eight. So it will be forty taka. Okay, my dear students. You can take a screenshot. You will solve later. Next. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so here given the price of six shares is twelve thousand twelve thousand taka. Okay, so what is the price of ten shares? Okay, my dear student, you see ten share. Okay, so at first you saw the yeah twelve thousand divided how many shares? Six shares divided six. So it will be six two zero twelve six two zero twelve. So two and how many zeros? Th three zeros. You put here three zeros. Okay. How many shares here? Ten shares. Multiply ten. So ten uh, two one zero two two and how many zeros? Four zeros. So taka. So you see multiply ten ten 
multiply when you multiply this is a 2 1 the 2 okay 2 and 4 3 zeros and 1 0 4 4 zeros this is our taka answer okay my dear student this is our answer so what is the complete form of lcm lcm in least least common common multiple multi pool not pools only multiple ok list common multiple what is the complete form list l e a s t list common multiple write the first three multiples of 7 9 12 8 etc only one question will come in exam suppose uh, the uh, i try to set good example I try to set a good example. Uh, suppose uh, seven multiple the three first uh, first three multiples of seven. So you will write you you take the sentence from here. So multiples multiples of seven. So multiples of seven dear seven one the seven seven two the uh, sorry seven two the fourteen and 7 3 is 21 you can take 3 numbers because already given here 3 ok so you can solve same also same also uh, multiple of 9 so 9 1 is 9 9 2 is 18 9 3 is 27 as like we will give this way only one question will come in the exam one question means 7 or 9 or 12 or 8 this this type ok thank you next Uh, next our questions ok next questions uh, the first three multiples of uh, first three common multiples of 2 and 3 ok so uh, multiples at first you write multiples of 2 you write multiples of 2 2 means 2 on the 2 2 2 the 4 2 3 the 6 2 4 the 8 2 5 the 10 2 6 the 12 and 2 14 and 16 and 18 and 2 10 the 20 and 2 2 the 22 24 ongoing ok and multiples of 3. So, how much 3 1 the 3, 3 2 the 6, 3 9, 3 3 9, 3 4 the 12, and 3 uh, 5 the 15, 18, 3 6 the 21, 24, and go on. Okay, my dear students. So, here is the first 3 fa first three common multiples. First 3 means you see 6 is a common, okay, 12 is a common, okay and 18 is a common ok so 24 24 no need to take because only given 3 so answer common multiples 3 common 3 common multiples multiples 3 common multiples here 6 18 and oh, 6 12 sorry 6 12 6 12 and 18 done because only you will take 6 12 and 18 is enough because 3 common multiples ok next complete the what is the complete form of gcf gcf means greatest common factors greatest common factors you will take note and screenshot ok the students and get its common factors and here given also uh, what is the gcf of 2 prime factors 2 prime factors means 2 and 3 one, uh, prime factors or 3 5 prime factors this type so how to find of gcf of 2 prime factors 2 prime factor 2 comma you can take 2 comma 3 2 prime factors only one number can go can access 
okay so two here and three so our answer is one answer is one so you will write answer is one only prime number and two prime number gcf always time will be one okay okay dear students what is called the parallelogram whose angles are right angle so parallelogram right and uh, right angle is a so our requirement this is this shape so this shape is called a rectangle so this is a every angle is 90 degree 90 degree means right angle right angle so this is answer is answer rectangle rectangle this is answer is rectangle okay so what is called the figure surrounded by four straight line so four straight line my dear students is called a quadrilateral and another question how many days are there in a leap year leap year means answer my dear students you will answer you know normally our days 365 days but leap year year 300 66 days you will write because because one day is extra how many days are in february when leap year year so leap year year in february days you know leap year year and february days is 29 days okay my dear student usually our february days is 28 days but in leap year in leap year in leap year February month is 29 days. Okay, my dear students. Next, how many days were in February of, of two, 2016? So, my dear students, at first you divided 2016 and divided by 4. 4. After 4 years, leap year month will, in leap year year will come. Yeah. So, this is a how many times? 5 times. So, 2, 0 and this cut 1, 1 put here, but 1 is less than 4, then after you can take extra uh, 0 here, uh, sorry, no 0, put 0 and cut 6. So, how many times? 4 times. So, 4, 4 is 16. So, remainder no. So, no remainder, it will be uh, remainder no, so it will be flip here, yeah it will be uh, no remainder and it will be remainder and no remainder it will be leap year so 20 that time february march is 20 20 yeah 28 days and here uh, february march not leap year so not leap year february march that time will be 28 days and this is a this is leap year so 20 uh, february march answer will be month 29 days right leap year and this is a if you divided by 4 so remainder will come not leap year not leap year means that time 28 days okay my dear students you follow this one at first you divided by 4 uh, by 4 this number and it will be our remainder no remainder so this is a leap year leap year means 29 days and this is a remainder will come you, a, a remainder will come this is not leap year not leap year means 28 days and in Bengali practice how many months are there 31 days how many months ashar shravan bhadra joshto as like so how many 5 months 31 days in bengali month uh, out of uh, 5 month out of 12 month okay and how many kinds of data two kinds of data and another questions already no uh, this is our express 9 
So my dear student, in first this is our five symbol, and this is you take eight. It will be nine. This is our population. What is formula? Find the density of population. Population density formula. Population divided by density of population formula. Population density equal to population divided by area. What is the unit of population density? This is people divided by square kilometer. <coughs> is called a unit. Is called a unit of population density. So people divided uh, square kilometer. You will write answer. So this is my contact number. If you get problem, of course you will contact me.